Hello everyone. So in today's video, I'll be talking about a few Beastmas items that I personally think every player and specifically early game players should be using every day, and specifically as soon as the cooldown for whatever thing ends. So obviously during Beastmas, there's a lot of Beastmas items that you can use such as like, you know, the Polar Bears um, Feast or like the Spared Bear Winter Memory Match. But there's some Beastmas items that I personally think is way more important and every player should be using to progress faster into this game. And with that, for the first item, I believe this will be more helpful towards early game players, but it should be the Honest Lit Art. So I covered this in an earlier video of mine, but basically the Honest Lit Art is pretty OP for early game players. And this is because as soon as you spawn a uh, Honest Lit Art, you, get at, you actually get a Guiding Star. And and Igniting Star does slam in your 5 least collected fields, but, but if you are a mixed hive then this shouldn't be a problem, and this is why. For the Guiding Star, you get 2.5 capacity and 2.5 pollen. So this is insanely overpowered for any early game players, and again, with my previous video that I covered, I have not been seeing any early game players using this item enough. This Guiding Star can help so much for any player to progress faster into this game. And yeah, so basically if you're an early game player, then you should probably be using the Guiding Star as much as possible since it's just free buffs for 10 minutes. And the cooldown is also 8 hours by the way, obviously. So for the second item, it would actually be the Dapper Bear Somavar. So this is actually not as useful or helpful as the Honest Lit Art, but if you activate this, then you can basically get free Nectars for one hour. And this is my first time using it, actually. And you can also see, you get some Honeysuckles and, and an MSM as well, so it's pretty overpowered as well for like material wise but basically you get a random nectar for one hour but if you use it more then it can gradually build up to like four hours which is still pretty good for any hive as well even if you're like an end game player then it's just four hours of free nectar so yeah that's just something you should keep in mind and still use and you also get honeysuckles and enzymes like i said before so yeah that's just another item i would highly recommend using and now for the third item it will be the brown bear spisma stockings this is actually not like as overpowered as like the Onyx Lit Art, but still just three free items that you can get right here. So I can quickly activate this and you can see right here. So I got a B-Quip, a Micro Converter, and a Ticket, which is, which is obviously not the best thing in the world, but it's just three free items that you can get literally just by waiting an, an hour. Oh, well, it, this is this is a test run, but so it's five minutes, but in the main game, it's an hour. So that's basically just literally an hour of free buffs. So yeah, that's just another thing I would probably be using. And now for the fourth item would be the Riley Bee's Beastmas Honey Day Candles. So for this one, this is actually insanely good for endgame players specifically, since you can have a chance to get Caustic or Swirl Wax, which can help you for crafting so much. So I can just open the shop and you can see right here. So for the Dark Scythe, you need Caustic Wax. For the Heat Tree, the Planter, you need Swirl Wax, and so forth for all of these items. So again, this is mainly just for end game players, just because wax just helps craft for crafting, and it's basically just for end game players. But if even if you are an early game or a mid gamer, then you, you can just still be using these for free wax. So I just got soft wax, which isn't the best, but yeah, it's just three free wax again. For I think this cooldown is four hours, but yeah, this is pretty good for end game players. Sorry, this is pretty good for early game players, but especially good for end game players. And yeah, that's basically just a short video on some items that I think you should be using every day. So yeah, if you're an early game player, then this video should be for you. But if you're an end game player, then this, you probably already know this, but yeah, whatever. Bye.